So this is the uh, Flint Router GLAX1800 by GLINet, as you can see here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the uh, admin panel for this router. And basically I'm doing a whole voiceover recording because for whatever reason my voice didn't get recorded. So now I'm trying to uh, do a voiceover. So as you can see here, the first thing it'll ask is for you to put a new password in. So this is the main panel or admin page as you can see. But the first thing you'll notice is the uh, problems that I have with this router at the moment. And these are the options that you get. You can do a, uh, make it a repeater. You can use a 3G or 4G modem. Or you can even tether the uh, router through your phone, as you can see here, which is really nice. And the main reason I got this router is because I want to use it as an extender, basically. Uh, I wanted to see if uh, it had better signal than the one I had, because I wanted an extender that came a little farther to where my computer is and I figure I just get a router with the option of the extender to uh, try and do that. So that's where I got this one from. And here are the options and this is the option I wanted to show you. Unfortunately, I could not click on anything when I first turned it on. I managed to get into the panel but as you can see it's just not letting me choose anything or almost anything. There are a few options, but uh, as far as what I want to show you, it's not there. So I'm going to go down the list and click on each one just to show you that it's not letting me do anything which really sucks because the router seems pretty nice and it did have a little better signal in terms of where I wanted to reach. Not a huge amount, it's just a tiny bit. So unless you're in an open environment, you're not going to get very far with just a simple router, uh, even with four antennas or whatever they say they have. But as you can see, uh, nothing is working. I'm clicking on everything here and that one works, that one works, but clicking on the individual options, it's not working. I did message the company but on Facebook where they say they can help you, but uh, unfortunately I think they uh, deleted my posts and normally I try to do this to help the company so that um, you know, you want to give them some feedback, not necessarily a negative feedback, but just what's not working and to show them what's happening. And so here I have a chance to do that with the uh, video because, as you can see, it's not doing anything. Or allowing me to do what I want to show you at the same time. Which is unfortunate, but... It is what it is, and this is what I got. So, there, you know, I bought this myself. The company didn't send it to me, so I'm just telling you what I saw on the router. As you can see, I don't need to make things up on here, and I just tell you what it is. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But, Hang in there because later on um, I did make some changes or I rebooted or did something where it did come back. So I will definitely get into a few more items here. But at this moment, it's just not doing anything. So 
So uh, as you can see, those are the options there on the top green side of what you can use with it and what will actually light up once you connect it. Or for example, if you have it on a network cable, you'll see that green. If you have it as a repeater, you see that green and so on and so forth. Here I'm trying to show you the other options, but uh, it's not showing on here. So in order to basically reset it, I couldn't do it manually. The reset button wouldn't work, but right here where you say revert firmware, that's basically where you reset your firmware, not revert. I don't know why they have that. That's like going back to a previous firmware, but it's not. That's actually where you reset the router. So at this point, I'm going ahead and try to reboot because nothing's working and nothing happens as you can see so I, I'm going to try it again So nothing happens. I close it. I come back to the router or the uh, web browser, type in the IP address again. Brings me back to the admin panel. Uh, I believe it changed from one browser to another. I can't remember. But um, So I'm going back in here because it doesn't look like you reboot it. And now things seem to work, as you'll see in a moment. So here is where I want to show you. On this router, you have the uh, options to do to use it as a router access point an extender or a WDS and even though it has the options here I still was not able to change it no matter what I did another issue I had was here with the uh, wireless you see the regular wireless and then you have the guest uh, Wi-Fi option uh, every time I try to turn on the wife the guest Wi-Fi uh, they would never appear it would never do anything Eventually, it'll turn green, but it's not showing up, as you'll see in a moment. And I did that for both the 5 and the 2.4. And here you have to wait for that to finish before you can turn the other one on, which is kind of weird. But it is what it is. So even though it said success, uh, you'll see that it doesn't show up on the uh, wireless option. You see they're both green there. But right now you'll see the uh, pop-up or for the wireless networks and you'll see that they do not show up right there. Still showing up as 5G, which is at the bottom, but there's no guess. So something else is going on with that. Uh, it's just not working. Um, I tried to turn on the guest networks and it just wouldn't work. Now here is the other options that I want to use. I want to try it as an extender. I didn't try it at this moment, but I did try it later off, later on off camera, and it would not change anything. It just uh, wouldn't show me anything like you'll see here in a moment. It did not show me any networks at all, even though it was working and I was able to click on it, it just wouldn't change. So here you can see the SSIDs. When I tried it, it did not show me anything. And even after it showed me something here, I did went ahead and try it to connect to my network, but it just wouldn't change in anything. It would not connect and well, it just didn't work. But anyways, I just wanted to show you that option, which sucks because some routers don't include that anymore. And here's the revert firmware, which you say reset firm, uh, reset router instead of revert firmware, which is just an odd choice of words there, but. Uh, so I went ahead and did that, and that basically resets everything to its defaults. And then at the bottom, you have this Lucy. I'm not sure what that is. I did manage to install that. It just said it was installed, but 
at this point I really don't know what that does or what they use that for and there's no more information that tells you what that is on here as you can see so going back to the beginning as you can see you have two guests up there but uh, they're not showing up so I'm not sure if that's how that's supposed to work or what but you wouldn't be able to connect to it if you don't see it obviously so it may just be the router I don't know so on the wireless I want to show you one more thing here on this router you can actually see the transmit power at the bottom there which is really nice this one's defaults at the max which even at the max is really not that long for I'm um, like 30 like I said I'm uh, before on another video I'm like 30 feet away from the router and even at the max it barely uh, reaches on here but at least this one uh, reach with a better signal for a 5G ramp through two walls Outside, it didn't really reach anything where I wanted to try uh, use it. And here on the 5G, you have the same thing, which is too bad because all the other rout routers should have that so that you can uh, try the signal and see which one works best for you. Obviously, in an open environment, things will be much better, but when you have a really congested network area as I am there's a building next door and all the networks here and then the router is right on the wall where the power comes in it just makes for a very uh, dense uh, network area here so that's why I'm testing these because I want to see if there's any changes or with the routers so this one did give me a little bit of a better signal like I said but it wasn't much of a change than the one on the Linksys. The only difference here is that transmit power as you can actually change, which is nice. Unfortunately, even though the uh, admin page looks very nice, it still is not working the way it should be. Some of the things just are not working at all. I'm not sure if that's the firmware they have or what, but just I just couldn't use it as an extender. It just It just wouldn't let me do it. So I'm just going through the options here just to show you what it does have or comes with when you get it because this is how it came. Um, I had reset it so I'm just showing you all the defaults. And there are a lot of plugins here that are installed. Um, you know, I don't know what half of them are because I haven't used this router, and but that's all that's in there, and you can uninstall whatever you don't want, obviously. But there are quite a bit of uh, items there, so in case anybody does want to look at that, this is this router is based on W Open W R T W R T, yeah. So it's just like my other router for with the uh, that uses a SIM card for a phone or 4G, excuse me. Uh, here is the other option for file sharing. Uh, if you have a USB drive that you plug in, the difference between this one and the Linksys is this one automatically shows it to everybody and opens it to everybody. Uh, you have to also choose the right option in order for people to write on it, but I don't like this one because you cannot use a password to make sure that even if it shows it to everybody on your network, they're not allowed to go in there. Uh, if you don't want anybody like your kids changing or deleting files, um, that's the one thing I didn't like about this one. The Linksys is better in that sense because it does allow you to add a password, even though it's just a USB drive, at least on the network, um, then you can keep your files away from uh, 
the kids, for example, you know, that might go in there and just change things around. Um, so that's the one thing I could not change on here. Uh, you either show it or you don't. That's the only way to access it. And basically, you can leave the write option on, but then take off the uh, view option off and then just turn it back on if you want to work on it. So that's kind of annoying to be having to go into the admin panel here in order to do that all the time or just leave it on all the time, but it's not going to be password protected. So yeah, I did not like that because uh, I was thinking of just swapping the other uh, router and just using it here, but I'm not going to do that because it's obviously has some issues. Uh, this option is for you to add a website if you want people to see the website when they log into this router for whatever reason. Uh, or maybe you're in a business, then you might want to do that. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it on that. The AdGuard actually seems to work okay, uh, seems to block things. Uh, it's something you don't see on a lot of routers nowadays. For So at least this one comes with that. So you have uh, another option here. If you need it. Just for Internet Gateway. Uh, something protocol, I forget what it's called. And then you have the log option you can put on there. Your LAN IP, your time zone. Uh, we want to change that there, so that's pretty straightforward as you can see. Nothing special there. Uh, the Mac clone is just your Mac uh, on the computer, that's why I didn't put it on there, but it's just your computer or whatever is connected. And then here are those cool options that you want to see on the router. You want to be able to use it as an access point or an extender. You want to be able to change it. Unfortunately, on this router, I just couldn't use it. And the wording here needs to be changed to reset router instead of revert firmware, which is just odd, but that's what that does. And then at the end, you have the Lucy. Which, again, I still don't know what they use that for. And there's no more information on it there, so 